Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence. Yeah, it's all yours, we buddy. I believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? <laughs> uh, if you, yeah, exactly. We'll play the same card. You're an information broker. If you want to know it, it's going to cost you. Oh, I believe it will. But the price I pay won't be to you. No, we've a bigger deal to settle. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Okay, so you need me to fix it. <laughs> Got a whole new checklist of crap to do before it works, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. Now you're talking. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. That's it? <laughs> Except it needs three keys before it'll activate, and then I have to go find them, right? Eternal, no. What is wrong <laughs> with you? Who would ever design <laughs> something like that? That's actually hilarious. However... You're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Oh, well. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. There's no way. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. We're almost done. Let's finish this. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Is that possible? Oh boy. If it's as easy just flipping a switch, I will actually be shocked. Oh, it's this machine that we saw before. That's cool. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? I can hear you. We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't think it matters. I won't bother you again. Look. Times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior, but I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. How could he not? What in the void blasted hell is that? Whoa. Whoa. Uh... It's not very common. <laughs> Black holes. Did you see that? Obviously, we saw that. Look, there's not enough room in this tower for two sarcastic <laughs> hole heads, so one of us has to knock it off. Okay. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Oh, well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Uh, it's a reunion. <laughs> Someone's going to explain what's going on here? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Oh, I'm going to check it over, sure. You guys are acting like children. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. 
Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Oh boy. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out. What? So we still I have to decide. Get off my void damn channel. I'm more than finished with you lot. Whoa. Okay, so they want this module. Oh, speak with Phineas. That's probably... Yeah, okay. They can still stick to the landing. 0 to 10 from the Monarch Judge. Reach the ship and take its targeting module from Central Terminal. And then we have here... You've relayed the promise data back to Phineas. Travel to his lab and speak with him to discuss the next steps. Huh. Let's go and do this first. Can we not jump over this? Uh oh. And it hurt. Okay, so whereabouts is it? So we have to cross through here. Why don't we jump to this uh, publications up here? What's this? Oh, they're battling each other. I'm not getting involved. I have to wonder if anybody survived that. It's not looking good. But then, are these other guys also going to be running out there? Oh boy. May the law have mercy on you. I won't. I am a storm. Got him. Sometimes violence is the only way. We are just that good. It would be kind of nice if uh, we didn't have to go into like the slow motion part every time. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Don't mind me. Trouble incoming, Captain. Got it. Never anger a man of the claw. Jeez. That'll get them up now. Behind me, thanks. Now that, that was a hunt. You sure know how to set a woman's heart to beating, that's for sure. Wow. Running really low on ammo here, team. Might have to actually buy some.
I'm going to see if we can sneak by these guys. Yeah, I don't know if head in there is super smart, but we're doing it. And we got them all. I'll take your confession now. How come that's not bringing him up? Good. I'm going to see if I can run inside. Oh, no. Captain's key card. Hey, but these guys might leave me alone here, actually. Raptophobia. Dexterity, perception, and temperament. We're going to pass that. Eject Captain Matsu's command key. Locate targeting module. Captain key is active, but life signs are no longer detected. Logging flight hours will not present for duty as a violation of policy. Diagnostics. Exceeded accessible damage ranges. View logs. Captain's log. CE saying something about spare regulator bypass something something. Chikoshu. I'm turning this thing towards the groundbreaker, firing up the engines and retiring. Better be arrested than lose power and drift into space. I just hope this old bird can handle one last trip. <laughs> December 21st. How in the loft shaking colony is it impossible to requisition parts? My chief engineer is barking at me to order yet another damn thing and I can't even get a response from corporate. January 3rd. Another day, another ship lands at Terra 1 and we can't shoot him down. That makes... I've lost count. What's the point of being out here if we can't get some backup? Start Mayday message playback. Let's eject the key. Hello. My name is Jen. <laughs> I'm the chief engineer on this gunship, and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hull head. <laughs> we told him again and again that without fixing... Let's uh, repair these. Okay, so we need tons of light ammo. Our regulator is spinning up the engines are going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely <laughs> random direction. She was right. Well, here we are. We'll hit soil in about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last one. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger I'm holding up. Well, it was as simple as walking in here and taking it, but... Who are we going to give the module to? Ugh, I don't like it one bit, man. I don't like either one of them, really. I wonder if these guys have some insights on it.
I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. <laughs> I'm sure you know what that's like. I, yeah, Something I look, vexing think about it all the time. What's up? Um. What's with the pleasantries? Let's see if she has any thoughts. Want to know something? Just ask. Hmm. Why the hunter life? I didn't. I was born into security detail, and when the corporations abandoned this place, I stayed. Why? That's all I know. Besides, I had a few friends here, and they were staying too. Okay. So they don't really want to talk about that. Um, we have to ally with either one, it seems. And I don't know who. Maybe it's best for us if we... Travel to the unreliable. See if anybody will talk to us and give us their insights. Talk to maybe Phineas, and then... Is drunk. <laughs> Surprise. And then go and talk to him before we make any other decisions out there. I have received a transmission from Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Welcome back, Captain. I have received a transmission from Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? <laughs> this guy. Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. That's me, Mr. Shaw. I keep this short, lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. Oh. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Okay. I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Thanks, Ada. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Dark. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? Uh, currently, yeah. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to run upstairs and chat, see if any of these guys... We'll talk to everybody. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. Yep. It's kind of big. Sure. Yeah, I don't need anything. I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and... And ask June Lay to go steady straight out. Yeah, just do it. And I'm thinking of doing it here. Oh. On the ship. That's fine, I guess. Uh. Yeah, do it. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and well. Shop for cleansing products. Too close to my fingernails. I was thinking. Hoping we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. Yes, Parvati, we can do that. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Okay. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. 
because I want to come with. Yep, for sure. Okay, we can do that. This gives me, like, major Mass Effect vibes. Where people would be kind of working and hanging out in their Boss, different stations. I feel like I haven't seen him for a while. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Are you talking about Graham? At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The Iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt leave I mean, to transform the colony? Yeah. <laughs> I give up, pal. Uh, boss, that wasn't a trick question. I was being, what's the word? Rhetorical. Sorry, Felix. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Well... Wasn't the one who killed them all, he just allowed it to happen. Let's see what he says to this. I'm sure Graham told himself the same thing. He wasn't the one who held the gun and pulled the trigger. All he did was turn a key. The thing is, that's all it takes. Sometimes the difference between right and wrong is turning a key, or looking the other way, or keeping your mouth shut when you ought to speak up. And he's right. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. But Sanjar, you know, and like with uh, the other woman. Job assessment. It's a mess. Begin cleaning cycle. Say yes, no, or later. Uh, Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Mm. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh,. The other woman with the Iconoclast, we actually like her, but yeah, I don't know. By Verity, by what are we? I don't know why you would ever kick someone off your ship permanently. Hmm. I'm not gonna get answers. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over and talk to Phineas. Just to see if he drops any knowledge bombs. And uh, then we'll come right back to Monarch and make we a decision. We successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, Ada. Good job. Good job, Ada. All right. Let's bring... Um, Let's just switch it up a bit. Bring these two. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it. But Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Okay. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium. <laughs> stealing those chemicals. Good news, man. Good news. What was that about Mr. Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually Aloysius. every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. So, similar to what we just heard, where it's enough to just, like, turn the key. You don't have to be the one doing things. He's kind of placing that same blame on this guy. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. 
we'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Okay. Um. Is there anything I should know about Carmen? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Okay. Find Carmen. Steel chemicals. Got it. Got it. No problem. Look, if we get, uh, well, with Felix, if we do this, that takes us up to 100. That's if we keep Felix. Um, 84 from Ellie. It's pretty good, man. Let's get this to a 70, and then we'll do... Something like that. We can Fire keep these guys with us. They can stay with us for a bit. There's no new messages here. Okay, so... I was hoping that maybe he would just have some recommendation on this. Obviously, that is uh, turned out to not be the case. And we're going to have to make a decision. I think I'm going to go with the Iconoclast. Only because it's like a lesser of two evils. But also, I kind of feel like just getting them to all be chill would be the best option. There is only one... Cascadia landing pod dangerous. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Yeah, excellent job. Let's take these two and we'll keep those super boosts. And then let's do Amber Heights. Ah, crazy town. Never change. Oh, you know it? This place wasn't half so pretty in the serials. Zora. Oh, perfect. We should chat. Yes, we should. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just... So how do we get you in charge? I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. <laughs> uh, and you'd run it in his stead? Yeah. Hell, most of our people listen to me see, already. See, I, I like this plan. Is this going against the philosophist's way? I thought so. Now I'm not so sure. Graham's always saying that what will be, will be. That we're all here for a reason. Maybe his was to teach me to lead. And maybe mine is to save the colony where he can't. See? Yes, this is good. And what would you do when you're in charge? Take Stellar Bay. Lick our wounds. Eventually figure out how the hell we're going to spread the word to the rest of the colony. Mm. The yeah, Iconoclast may take your orders. Most of them believe in and believe in him and his teachings. Sometimes you gotta do what's best for someone, even if they think you're wrong. Even if it's painful. When we're in Stellar Bay, they'll come around. Ugh, I don't I don't know if this is good either. Certainly it's better having I'm going her to confront him. Can I count on your support? Yes, let's go talk to him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Oh boy. <laughs> this is, uh... Okay.
Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Not a spat, dude. Listen, Zora's taken over. What? Zora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? Listen, um... I think she does have the best interest of the Econoclast at heart. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Graham. Yeah, this is... I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. Uh, he's already... I don't know if we need to beat him into the ground anymore. Let's get on with it, Zora. Yeah, I... Yeah. He gets it. He knows Let's... we know. I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. <gasps> this is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Don't make us do this. That's not necessary. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path is, <laughs> I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. No way. They're on us. No way. Don't mess with us. Iconoclast. Asshole. <laughs> no way. Oh no. He has no... All of his parts are gone. Board reputation increased. Well, oh my god. Here we are. <laughs> oh no. There's a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclast. Oh no. And it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void, help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. I you wonder if we would have explored those other options if we could have saved him, too. Here. Yeah. Why don't you and Sanjar join forces? And maybe... Oh, God. Uh... I've thought about it, but... I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. What if I can make it happen? Here, yes. Sanjar has corporate resources you could use to spread your message. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, <laughs> I'll give him a chance. My God. Okay, I'm going to try it. So... Oh no, this guy probably died for no reason either. He probably could have lived and we could have done this the, the other way. But, maybe there's multiple ways. So either you convince Graham and Sanjar to talk, cool. Uh, you give it to Sanjar, fine. You give it to Graham, fine. You give it to... You she takes over, fine. But maybe if we would have uh, explored some of those other options to talk to him about why he did it, uh, I just felt like we were just kind of beating a dead horse there. And... Uh, I mean, I didn't like him anyway, but still. You know, you hate to see somebody just get murdered in cold blood when we're not doing it. So, anyway. We'll uh, we'll head over to Sanjar and uh, have a little chat with him. And we'll see where this goes. So, yeah. Wish me luck. See you soon.